Hello, I'm going to start a modern algebra series. I hope you like it. Even if you're not a math major, if you're just interested in some advanced math. And even if you are a math major and you're first learning modern algebra or abstract algebra, I hope this uh, can break things down for you and make it a little simpler at first for you. For when you're first starting out, what I mean. So, the first video here, we're going to talk about groups. And groups is a really simple idea. It's kind of a fundamental idea in algebra. And so we're going to talk about that. It's really easy. We just need to check four things. We need to check if our, our group is closed, if our set is closed, associative, if it has an identity, and if each element has an inverse. So let's talk about what that means. So first step is to check if it's closed. So we're going to take the positive real numbers and the operation we're going to be using is multiplication. So positive real numbers, what does that mean? Well, here's some examples. Pi is a real number. It's positive. 1 17th is a positive real number. 4 gajillion, that's a positive real number. No problem, right? So these are positive real numbers. And so let's see if it's closed. So when we take two positive real numbers and we multiply them together, do we get another positive real number? In this case, it's about 0.185, which is definitely a positive real number, right? So we're good. We're closed. Next step, we're going to check and see if it's associative. Associative, what does that mean? It means basically if you regroup the numbers in different a different order, do you get the same thing? Yeah, you do. 4 times 7 times 5, no matter what order you do it in, you're going to get 140, right? So we're good on associativity to show that what that formula means, you know, what associativity means. It means A star B star C equals A star B star C. My teacher always said it faster if it was in parentheses. So let's keep going. It is associative. Okay, now we need to check if it has an identity. Identity, what does this mean? Well, it means we're talking multiplication. So it means if we take a number, can we multiply it by something and always end up with that the original number? We can, right? We can just multiply times 1. Like 7 times 1 that's going to be 7. 1 times 7, that's 7. Any number, whatever you pick, if you just multiply it by 1, you get the, that same number. So, in quote, advanced algebra, you know, notation, we'd say x starred with the identity equals x. Okay, and for the identity, we're going to be using e. So for multiplication, the identity is just 1, because x times 1 is x, right? But we, we are not necessarily just talking about multiplication in abstract algebra, but for just to make it easy, that's what we're talking about in this example. Okay, so I hope I didn't make it any more complicated for you. But basically, yes, we do get an identity. It's 1 for the positive real numbers with multiplication. Okay, so inverses. So inverse, this means can we multiply, if we have a number, can we multiply it by something to end up with our identity? Like take 7, can we multiply that by something to get 1, which is our identity? We can, right? We can just multiply it times 1 seventh. So the way we write this, x times the inverse of x is our identity. Now the way we're going to write our in, our inverses is x to the negative 1. That means the inverse. And again, we're going to use e as identity. So you're going to kind of need to get familiar with that notation. But it's pretty easy. We use it a lot. So, so in this case, the inverse is just going to be 1 over our original number. So we're good on that. So, it's closed, it's associative, it has an inverse, it has an, 
it has an identity and each element has an inverse so it's a group so we're good so let's take a, another short example we take a group and if we take some element x and we start it with that same element we get the original element okay and we gotta show that there's only one element that this works for so here's what we do we start out with x star x is x now we know it's a group so we know each element has an inverse so we multiply the inverse on the left side of each each uh, side of the equation so in x inverse star with x what is that again do you remember it's just e right it's just our identity so we end up with just e star x equals e well e star x what is that do you remember e star x that's just x right it's like we have one times x again that's just going to be x so we've shown that if x star x equals x then that x is the identity it can't be anything else so there's only one solution x must be e it must be our identity okay let's take another more interesting example in my opinion so we take a group and we take an element and start it with that same element and that gives E our identity okay and we need to show so so this x star x is E that's our spe that's a special quality about this group okay and we need to show that this group is abelian now abelian that just means it's commutative it's really easy commutative means you can swap the order in other words, x times y, that's going to be y times x. 6 times 7, that's 7 times 6, right? Okay, so what we do, it gives us a hint. It gives us a hint. It says that consider a star b started with a star b. Well, those two are the same thing. So if we start them together, we're going to get our e we're gonna get our identity right that's by our definition so we have a star b start with a star b is e and we also know that a star a is e and b star b is e because those are the same as well right also you should know that e star e is e because remember e start with any element is that element so we're going to what are we going to do we're going to set this up we're going to say let g be a group and we're going to define that quality of the group that x star x is e for all the x's in, in, the, in our uh, group and we're going to take two elements a and b in our group Okay, and we need to get down, we need to show that it's commutative, that it's abelian, that it's an abelian group. That means that B star A is A star B. If we've shown that, then we're done. So that's our goal. So it's always good to write down our goal. So we take, we know A star B started with A star B, that's E, right? And we know that A star A is E and B star B is E. So we can write this equation is true because e equals e star e so if we know that we know that it's a group so we can regroup it's associative right so I'm just regrouping the first three on each of these similar to the last problem and now I'm just gonna take the inverse of b on the right side of each side and now you know that b star b inverse that's just e right so that just goes away okay so now we're left with this and I'm gonna regroup again actually you could probably finish it if you wanted to 
but I'll just go ahead and do it for you. All right, so regroup, and now we see that we can just multiply by the inverse of a on the left hand side of each of these sides. And that's just going to be e. So that's just going to go away. So look what we're left with, exactly what we needed to show. So it's pretty simple once you see it. A lot of these problems work out really nice and neat like this. It's a pretty interesting class. So we've shown that, G that our group is abelian. So we're good. And so I hope you liked the video. And let me know what you thought. I'm thinking of doing some more videos. I'm thinking about doing 10 lectures on modern algebra. So depending on some of the feedback I get. And so just, just let me know. Suggestions, comments, criticisms. Let me hear it all. Thanks for watching. Bye.